One of the best things about this meal is that it's very easy to cook and it requires just a few ingredients. How's it going everybody? My name is Max Lugavere, a health and science journalist and the author of the New York Times best-selling book, Genius Foods, which is all about how to optimize your brain function with food. And I'm about to show you the ultimate recipe for brain health. So I call this the ultimate recipe for brain health because every ingredient is selected for a specific purpose. Every ingredient serves a specific function in the overall recipe for brain health. One single meal is not gonna be enough to sway the health of your brain in any particular direction, but when you eat foods like this on a regular basis, you're really giving your brain the tools that it requires to not only create healthy new brain cells throughout your life, but also to defend itself against the many stresses that it incurs over the course of daily life. I'm a huge fan of Brussels sprouts. I like to make them well done. So they get nice and crispy and soft. Cruciferous vegetables are amazing because they stoke your body's detox pathways. So I mean, a lot of people today are obsessed with overpriced detox teas, but your body has a very elegant detoxification machinery hard-coded into your genome. And by consuming cruciferous vegetables, you basically help your body better detox. And studies show that people who consume cruciferous vegetables and dark leafy greens tend to have more youthful performing brains. So extra virgin olive oil is essentially a fruit juice. It's made simply by crushing olives, which is something that human beings have been doing for thousands of years. Unlike these newer industrial oils like canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, the benefits of extra virgin olive oil are not only is it chemically stable when you use it to cook at low to medium heats, but it actually is an anti-inflammatory fat. It's as anti-inflammatory as low dose ibuprofen, which many people take for pain relief. It also has a very um, favorable fatty acid profile Profile. It's predominantly monounsaturated fat, which is very good for the cardiovascular system. And what's good for the heart is good for the brain. Wild salmon, I know it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than farm-raised salmon, but it's well worth the money. It has lower levels of omega-6 fatty acids, higher levels of a powerful antioxidant compound called astaxanthin, which is very good for your skin, eye, brain, you name it. And importantly, wild salmon doesn't have any of the antibiotics and potentially endocrine disrupting compounds that are very commonly found in farm-raised salmon. Farm-raised salmon, they're usually kept in pens and they're fed antibiotics to prevent infection, and they also end up eating a lot of fish meal that contains compounds like flame retardants, which we've observed is actually very uh, concentrated in the flesh of farm-raised fish. So by eating wild salmon, you're getting a much healthier fish, and the healthiness of that fish is going to impart its benefits and its health onto you, because at the end of the day, you're not just what you eat, you are what what you eat eats. Arugula is another very important staple of this dish, and that's because arugula has uh, the highest concentration of nitrates of any fruit or vegetable. Organic, naturally occurring nitrates are very good for your cardiovascular system, and what's good for the heart, again, is good for the brain. Actually, research shows that one high nitrate meal is enough to potentially boost cognitive function. So I'm a big fan of arugula, beets are another good option, but I tend to like the spiciness, the pepperiness of arugula. It's a complete misconception that you can't cook with extra virgin olive oil. At the very worst, you're gonna neutralize some of the many health benefits. But what's not gonna happen is it's not gonna become a toxic carcinogen like many other industrial seed oils actually do. So I happen to love the way mustard seed powder tastes on my cruciferous vegetables. It adds a spicy kick, but most importantly, it actually increases the healthiness of those vegetables. All cruciferous vegetables, when you chew them raw, they have the ability to create a compound that is being studied for its broad-reaching anti-cancer potential. What happens when you cook cruciferous vegetables is the ability to create that compound gets lost, but you can regain the potential to create that compound by sprinkling a little bit of mustard seed powder on your cooked cruciferous vegetables. And what's so beautiful about this is that in doing so, you actually increase levels of antioxidants in the brain. This recipe holds no punches in terms of its ability to give your brain the nutrients and the tools that it needs to be healthy and to perform optimally both in the present and for the long haul as well. But one of the best things about this meal is that it's very easy to cook and it requires just a few ingredients. Well, there you have it, the ultimate recipe for brain health. If you wanna learn more about any of that, you can check out my book, Genius Foods. Thanks for watching and keep watching more good folk.